Hey, good morning. Good morning. This is Julie Jayoto Trading Strategies. It is Monday, April 8th, 9.24 a.m. Got some live market action on the NQ. Wanted to sort of look at this um, with the market analyzer um, because we're about either going to have a trend change or it's going to fail and come back and take that low of the day out. One of the two things happening here. Um, the first thing you'll notice is I've got the the, uh, the LRT lines indicator on the chart for the offset multipliers. I'm using 1.5, 3, and 5. That sets up my end zones, like having a football field on the chart. This helps me look, visualize what uh, volatility the market normally trades in, right? And then it will respect those ranges. Uh, going forward so you know that when you're touching that top or bottom you're waiting for that pullback to the middle again and then you can take position long or short hopefully it's in line with the market analyzer so this really should start turning green before you get committed to taking a long position you've already got your 4-1 crossover and a downtrend so uh, this is either a very long consolidation period that's going to turn back around and take out that low or you're going to reverse back up and start getting green on the screen and you can go for that upside breakout uh, there's a couple of things going on here i also use ninja trader order flow tools and i've got the volume profile showing me the current value area high point of control and value area low um, just to give me a benchmark of where I am on volume profile. You can also scroll back in your chart and get the prior day levels. Uh, we had a very contracted range on Friday, so you might want to make note of that prior day low or something um, just for your own mental note. Where was it? and then compare it to today's chart. And that would be like a target to trade to. So um, right now, still getting red on the board, indicating this could be coming back down, but we are in a white cloud, so I don't wanna be trading short. Also, momentum flattened out there, it just went short. So the momentum is now coming down to the downside. Uh, so I could take a short if I wanted to, uh, albeit I am in a white cloud and the um, slope is going up, so I am not taking that short. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to sit on my hand still uh, thinking that this is going to probably turn back around and go back up. Um, we don't know. We've got a FOMC meeting on Wednesday so um, markets are just you know looking for a uh, direction uh, not really in a hurry to do anything until that FOMC meeting comes out so you'll probably see more of a protracted range um, so you definitely want to be looking at your higher time frames um, so you would want to you know verify what is a three-minute chart telling me and um, I can see that that LR4 line is moving up and the one is coming down. So I have my three minute range box in here. That's where the market should be testing. And that four is sitting on the um, offset multiplier at the um, POC. So you've got a confluence right there. So that's probably where the market's gonna check. So we just, want to wait, sit on your hands, wait for more information from the market to make a decision. Uh, we are in an up, momentum is up above zero. So I'd really want that momentum to get below zero to take a short. And like I said, it's just directionless. It's sort of reminding me like a um, V bottom, which is bullish. You know, your chart patterns, go to Bukowski's um, website and check out his chart patterns. 
uh, but the market is directionless. I'm just going to be floating around until the Wednesday OFOMC and uh, get more information on how the Fed is directing the markets going forward, especially after that another Goldilocks payroll report that we got on Friday. So a lot of information to slice and dice. Keep yourself out of trouble. Um, put this back on a tick chart. And you can see that the market is sort of stalling out here on the LR1. This balances the trend. This is linear regression and that's your uh, main trend line. So coming back up, checking that value high. And let's see if we get our breakout here. We've got a little bit of green coming in on the screen. There's your target. So markets are just like sitting here not knowing whether they're going to go long or short basically. You've got your slope going up and your other indicators going down. <laughs> so it's a time that I usually sit on my hands. You know you want more clear signals when you trade. You don't want it to be giving you 15 different you know signals. Um, you want more of a clarity and more of a confluence in your signals. So here we're breaking above the prior, the, um, the value high. And so we're breaking out running to 75.93. And that's probably where the market's going to hit. Breaking out, breaking out. You've got green coming on your screen. LRT3 green, 60 minute green, trend green, 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 green. I'd be holding for that 75.93. So you can, you know, pile some position on, hold that, put, tuck your stop under the value high. You've got that 4-1 holding, moving back up. So we've got our target, we're in our trade, we're just waiting uh, for that resolution and then there it goes, boom, target reached. And this was live guys, this, this is not a recording. <laughs> it's just that you've got to understand, you know, how the markets work where they're going, what they, they go to, what, what their, um, you know, what the algos all are chasing the same targets, right? There's only a few of them. So um, now that once we get back to that LR um, linear regression offset multiplier um, that's up there, that um, third one, one, two, three, what did I tell you? You're sort of out of bounds on the football field. So you'd be expecting a pullback, right? So um, you'd be taking your profits here, not holding any more longs per se. And um, wait for more green to hit the screen. Okay, so that's basically in a nutshell what we do uh, in the trade room. Um, got Bloodhound templates for the um, um, day trading to help with the signals. I'll put a uh, template on here. If you'll give me one second, we can do that real quick. Uh, you just add Bloodhound to your chart. Add a template. So see how the mark the the algos here just are confused. They got to the profit target. They don't know what to do now. And so if you wanted to go long. Here were your long signals. You just enter on these longs or um, you can do it like that too so you can see all of them but um, you can see that we're no longer in a long condition uh, and we were 
almost to the upper end anyway. So sometimes it's just best to sit on your hands. Um, you get to the end of a trade, that was one breakout. So you had a very little ways to go. And that's all we had today. But that would have been enough if you know what to do with that 10 points on a regular basis. You know, if you can identify these opportunities and then know how to come in and take them right now, not the best trading um, opportunity um, because, like I said, the FOMC meeting is Wednesday. Markets are just sort of floundering around um, directionalists. So be careful out there. Come see us in the trade room and we will um, look forward to showing you our templates and our process. Trading is a process. Find a process and there you go. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon.